Environmental Assessments, conducted as part of a foodborne illness outbreak investigation, a guide to navigating trainings and resources. Environmental assessments are a critical component of foodborne outbreak investigations. They provide information on the factors leading to the outbreak and provide information needed to recommend effective short and long-term interventions that stop ongoing foodborne outbreaks and prevent them in the future. There are many available resources on environmental assessments. We will summarize four trainings in this video and help environmental health professionals navigate them to choose which best suits individual needs. These trainings are primarily for environmental health professionals, but may be helpful to anyone who wants more information on environmental assessments. Finally, having a general understanding of foodborne illness outbreak investigations is recommended before taking any of these trainings. To help illustrate how to use these trainings, imagine an environmental health team at a local or state health department. You may recognize some of these roles on your team. We have Hector, the recent hire, Nora, the team lead, Chris, the intern, and Amanda, who has conducted environmental assessments in the past and needs a refresher. This is Hector. He was recently hired full-time on the environmental health team. He is a registered environmental health specialist and has conducted many inspections, but has not helped with an outbreak. Hector's new supervisor wants him to have a detailed background on environmental assessments to be prepared for his new position. For Hector, we would suggest the Center for Disease Control and Prevention's Environmental Assessment Training Series, EATS. The CDC's Environmental Assessment Training Series, EATS, is a self-paced online simulation and is for anyone looking for a complete package of information on environmental assessments. The training is guided by a virtual avatar, which takes you through to identify an outbreak's environmental causes, recommend appropriate control measures, and practice conducting virtual environmental assessments. The training covers a variety of topics and will get you prepared for conducting an environmental assessment. This could also be great when used as a group training. This training also offers continuing education credits for those interested in receiving them. This is Nora. She has experience investigating outbreaks and environmental assessments will be her primary responsibility. For Nora, we would suggest the Foodborne Illness Outbreaks Environmental Assessment Certificate Training. The Foodborne Illness Outbreaks Environmental Assessment Certificate Training is an in-depth online course that participants can complete at their own pace. There are multiple tracks and modalities, including videos, articles, and online trainings, so participants can tailor the course to their educational needs and preferences. This is Chris. He is the department intern. He'll be working for six months and is new to environmental assessments. The team wants him to have a quick introduction to environmental assessments. For Chris, we would suggest the Environmental Assessment Quick Train Series. The Environmental Assessment Quick Train Series consists of four interactive click-through modules covering the basics of environmental assessments. The modules are 10 to 15 minutes each and do not need to be completed together or sequentially, so they are ideal for a new employee with limited time. This is Amanda. She has experience with environmental assessments, but has not conducted one for a while. She just received a phone call from a coworker telling her she will be performing one this evening. She needs a quick review and templates to take with her on the environmental assessment. For Amanda, we would suggest the just-in-time training. The just-in-time training has a package for each major step in an assessment. Each module includes target objectives, strategy checklists, tips from the field, and a downloadable toolkit item. It is great for anyone who is on the go and needs more information on environmental assessments. For people interested in additional resources on environmental assessments, we also recommend the Environmental Assessment Training Portal. The portal is a curated hub of resources surrounding environmental assessments. The information is browsable by topic area, hosting body, or modality, and includes information on length, prerequisites, associated costs, and URLs for the training. After completing these trainings, professionals can sit for a credentialing exam provided by the National Environmental Health Association to become a nationally credentialed foodborne outbreak investigator. Provided here are the links for each of the discussed trainings and resources. Please feel free to pause the video and take note of any that interest you.